now what is r12 r12 is mod of this which is l upon root 3 what is r13 that is l square by 4 plus l square by 12 root over is it not or, or, or why why do that why do that why fine we will we'll see so this is uh, multiply this by 3 3 l square by 12 plus l square by 12 4 l square by 12 that makes it l square by 3 so it becomes l by root 3 r14 is again the same thing the, the just this is negative otherwise it is the same so it actually becomes minus l by 2 whole square plus l square by 12 root over that becomes l by root 3 now now something that we already know <coughs> that centroid of an equilateral triangle is equidistant from all the vertices this this vector has amazingly and very correctly given me that it has told me that yes yes your r12 r13 r14 they are all the same we know that okay so that could act as a checkpoint that whatever you are taking are correct fine so so these are the same now you understand that so i can i can take them out as well so since R12 is equal to R13 is equal to R14. Okay, I take this as which is equal to R say. So what do I do? I, I take this as R and, and pull it out. So K Q Q upon R square. So what am I left with? I just have to sum the the unit vectors, the three unit vectors. Do we see that? Okay, now what does that become? So I'm I'm writing it from here. I'm I'm writing here. So please please pay attention. K Q Q upon R square. R one two is what? R one two cap is minus G. This is R one three is what? Plus root three by two I cap plus half J cap. What is this? minus root 3 by 2 i cap plus half j cap this cancels this half j cap plus half j cap becomes j cap so this is minus j cap plus j cap 0 this is 0 vector vectors add up to give you a vector they do not give you a scalar okay so it's O vector actually. We denote it by O. So the net force on this becomes zero. So if it is say something like this, and this is the force here, and 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 this is the force here, and this is the force here, then the net force on this is equal to zero. This is the rigor of of why did I go through this? There was pretty, pretty short way of doing this. I could have straight way, like an objective question, told you that it is zero, and that you can also understand that it will be zero. But this is the rigor of the of the vectors. But in any given situation, they are of extreme help. Extreme help understand okay you can you could have shifted your your origin to this and again calculated it it will give you the same result and we should be pretty conversant with solving a problem through this method <coughs> okay but for that you have to understand what is q1 where you are trying to take the force Wherever you have taken the origin from there, you have to take the take the Distance. distances and, and the vectors. So vectors are, are, are directed from the charges to the to the charge on which the force is being taken. Correct. 
Now there is another method to it that we'll do next. That method is also good as long as you have say some two charges uh, which are influencing one charge. For that it is pretty okay. But beyond that it becomes cumbersome. Then, then this takes over. Okay. And we'll also do a question based on that. So what if we take individual forces by all and do the vector addition? This is what I have done. Come on. What have we done then? This, 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 this. Yeah, yeah, this is that. F12. This is F12, no? Mm -hmm. This is F13. This is F14. That's what? Mm -hmm. No, no, I just su summed it. Yes. So it, it's that sum only. It is this, this, this. Vector, through the vector. Now we'll do it by some other method and, and you'll find that method to be a pretty straightforward and, and an intuitive method. You'll suddenly be able to tell that, that the sum will be this. That we'll do. 